Welcome back to Deep Thought. We're going through Tomb Raider, and welcome to the Lost Valley. Cool. This is what I call the first good level. Yeah. The other two levels were okay, but this is the fun one. This is actually quite fun. The um, water is definitely showing its assness in terms of graphics from the top uh, in this area. It looks pretty shit. Yeah, be careful if you fall into that water, because if you do, you'll be uh, casted away and never to be seen again. Oh, it's that kind of water. Well, actually, no. You just fall into a giant pool of water, and then you have to climb all your way back up. Ah, I see. So technically, you don't even need to go up this way first, but there's a secret... Or no. There's a thing I wanted to get before we go down into the... Uh, go down the river and into the little pool. And beyond there is where we have to go. But uh, the first thing I wanted to do is go down here and get the shotgun. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. Because you can get it actually right quite early in this level if you wanted to. Like, again, you don't have to, but Shotguns I are prefer cool. to. Yeah. And considering the enemies that we'll be facing within the next couple of minutes, that's that shotgun will definitely help matters. Awesome. And down to the waterfall we go! Oh, that's badass. <laughs> Definitely badass. But just imagine if she was a little bit off, she could have landed on the platform and break all, every single bone in her body. Yep. Killing some more wolves. She seems quite experienced at tomb raiding. Is this, like, her first, like, ever, like, expedition? Like, I know it's the first game, but, like, in terms of, like, her is this like her first ever like tomb raiding mission or has she like done stuff before this canonically i believe the 2013 reboot and rise of the tomb raider were her first um experiences in tomb raiding although in in the case of the reboot version it really wasn't um like tomb raiding it was just her trying to get off an island full of crazy people who wanted to kill her Oh yeah, I think I did hear about the newer Tomb Raiders being, um, or the new, like, reboot Tomb Raiders being, like, about her first, like, Tomb Raiding experiences. Um, have you, you, have you played the new one? I have played the reboot. I have not played the, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider yet. Is the reboot good? Oh yeah, the reboot's definitely good. Like, it's more like, it's basically Uncharted 3 and a half. Yeah. But, um, but I, like, it's good. It fits. Uh, there are some people who really don't like the story, and I can kind of see why, but, like, the gameplay is good. The game looks really, really gorgeous. Uh, yeah. The combat... The combat's excellent now, because, like, the combat in the first couple of Tomb Raider games has never been really good. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, they're... Yeah, Re Reboot's pretty good. It's a giant T-Rex. Oh, cool! Okay, so... Up to now, the game has been somewhat realistic, apart from, you know, Laura Croft's big memories. But now that we're seeing, like, T-Rexes, I'm starting to think that this couldn't happen in real life. Because T-Rexes are kind of all dead. Well, again, this is, um... This is the place where, like, a magical deity has hidden away a treasure. So... He could have just popped up a T-Rex and a couple of Velociraptors to just kind of protect it. Now, I will admit, that is badass. It's a little bit better than the bear, at least. Yeah, because, I mean, at least T-Rexes are kind of cool, and... Yeah. And you got to be very careful when fighting that T-Rex, because it can bite you and chomp you up and kill you instantly. Yeah, T-Rexes tend to do that. More dinosaurs. I thought we were playing Tomb Raider, not the land before time. Ha 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 ha. That was an yeah, interesting movie. Yes, it was. So the goal for this level is that there are some... There's a, like a little machine... Um, around the area where we uh, got the shotgun. Um, it's an in it's incomplete, though. You have to, in this area, find three separate cogs to uh, 
reactivate that machine again, and it will um, open the door that is underneath the waterfall. How convenient that this like, ancient technology that's probably thousands of years old still works in the modern day. Well, the uh, magical deities probably like give it a little polish every now and then. <laughs> yeah, I can just imagine. This is the uh, first secret of the level. Um, it's a little little platforming challenge. Just have to get to the top of this little building here. It's not too difficult, but um, just be careful that you don't fall because if you do, you die. Yeah, be careful not to fall off. That's a Sonic Adventure reference. <laughs> I still like secret rings. Jesus Christ. <laughs> But uh, that's for another time. Yes. So um, we need to have a we need to have some sort of podcast to address that issue now. I mean, I again, I'll say this: I'm very aware that it's a bad game. It honestly, it is a bad game, but I can't help but like it. It's just very charming to me. It's very dumb, and I just like it. Yeah, I'm crazy, Ethan. I like Sonic and the Secret Rings. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> but uh, back on topic, because we're talking about Tomb Raider, we're not talking about Sonic. Oh shit, we're not. Then I quit. <laughs> so here's the first cog. It was underneath this little waterfall here. Yay. So now the rest of the uh, level will be spent finding the other secrets and getting the other cogs. Yay! Cogs are fun, I guess. Secrets are more fun, though. I notice you jumping a lot, like, when you're moving around. Is it just faster to kind of jump around, like, to kind of just jump forward instead of just walking? Yeah, it is, basically. It's one of those games. Yeah. I tend to do that in, like, the original Half-Life. I believe this is the next secret that we're going to, and this one's a little bit, um, a little bit tricky, because as you can see here, it doesn't seem like you can move across this ledge, yeah. like, right here, because it's, like, doesn't, there's no opening to it. The only reason you'd think to, like, even try doing that is because, the, like, wall textures are kind of different, but, yeah... But you actually can climb across that, and uh, you go above the waterfall and find these little secrets here. Awesome. So um, there's a a few a few of the secrets have contained um like a um round um bullet rounds for different weapons in the game. Like um what we just picked up there was a shotgun shells and a magnum pellets. Awesome. So. Yeah, we won't be getting the magnums until a little bit later, and we definitely... There are also Uzi um, rounds yeah, that we've I gotten, them too. Earlier. Yeah, we won't be getting the Uzis until way late in the game. And I'll say, that, I'll say right now, the way to get them is kind of bullshit. Aw. I want better guns. We'll definitely get them, but I'm just saying, the way to get them is kind of bullshit. <laughs> okay. At any point, do you shoot enemies in the dick in this game? Because I tend to do that. You actually can't manually um, aim oh, this okay. game. It's all automatic, which is kind of easy. Kind of a little easier on the combat, but it doesn't change the fact that the combat in this game just is not very good. Yeah. Like, it, it it's boring. It's just kind of tedious because a lot of enemies are bullet sponges. If you're not using the right weapon. That is so badass. <laughs> yes. I didn't expect you to be able to make that jump at all. I was just like, oh my god, is he actually going to do it? <laughs> yeah, this is where the second cog is, and uh, that jump was definitely necessary. Awesome. And now we'll be uh, just kind of dropping off. Ooh. As you can see there, you can kind of just like lower yourself down and hang yeah. off the ledge and then drop off. And you'll fall a less, lesser distance than you would if you just kind of jumped off the thing. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure if you just jumped off the bridge, then you would break every single bone in your body. Yay. 
Yeah, the game seems to either have it so that you either, you're either fine or you break every bone in your body. There's no middle ground. <laughs> <laughs> So I believe this is the last place for the cog, and as you can see, as you heard, there was a Velociraptor. I didn't quite know where, so I just kind of freaked out a bit there. Yeah. This game is actually surprisingly scary because, um, like, again, you don't, there's some places you don't know where the enemies are, and the enemies are quite fast and quite unrelenting. They can, like, trap you against the wall or against the corner and just go all out on you. The even scarier thing is if you back um, Laura Croft into a corner and zoom in on her face. Jesus Christ, that's the stuff of nightmares. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie, her like face model is like really ugly in this game. <laughs> uh, that reminds me. Uh, the music in this game, it's... Not really music, it's just kind of atmosphere. Yeah. And it's actually very good, though. Like, sometimes I listen to the soundtrack for this game to, when I'm doing other projects and stuff, and it's quite relaxing. Yeah, I've been listening to uh, the background noise and stuff. It's, you know, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. So it's a very good atmosphere, very adventurous. Like, it makes you feel like this is a very, very old place. Very ancient place that you probably shouldn't be here, but you're gonna be here anyway because is the some... water on fire. Oh, that's just the. <laughs> I just thought the water was on fire because of the effect they were using. Yeah, that's just a waterfall. Here's another secret. Um, this one's a little bit more obvious because you just climb up a ledge and it's right behind here. Easy enough. Shotgun shells. They still look kind of like an air horn when you're not paying attention. I suppose they do. But I mean, it's not like she's just gonna take one out and just start going... Like... like <laughs> TJ. <laughs> are we kind of out in the open or are we indoors at the moment? Because I'm noticing like the sky is really black. I'm guessing it's night time. That's actually a good question. Um, I believe it, we are out in the open, but um, considering that this is 1996 and, again, 3D games yeah. are very... It's like the first steps for 3D. Um, it wasn't very easy to render like such an outside environment without everything being a bunch of blocks and squares. Yeah. And in like a very, very late part of the game, that's going to be a little more obvious, that um, we're actually inside of a box. Like, the um, sky effects there are just kind of like the outside of a box. Yeah. The edges. Alright, so now we have all three of the cogs, and now we have to climb all the way back up to the bridge, to get to the other bridge, and then put all the cogs in, and then the machine will activate, and then we can progress. Yay. Thank you, ancient deities. Getting up to the bridge up here is probably the most frustrating part of the level because, again, if you fall into the river, you'll be sent downstream to God knows where. Actually, just a waterfall. Yeah, and it's very easy to screw up in this game. And I think there's going to be another crossfade here because I, I screwed up in this part. But, uh, yeah. Got to be very careful here. Pro strats. As you can see, again, like, I was holding down the jump button while she was running, but she didn't jump until like half a second later. It's like a little delay of the jump button and it just really irks me. Yeah. But it, but I really like how, um, like the distance for each little square and um, the distance like when you, when she hop, hops back, it's just enough to get a running jump. So like when you're, when it, when uh, you're doing very precise platforming, you can just use that. And, like, I like how the game designers put that in. Like, it's very nicely designed. Sweet, now we can start up the machine. Yes, we can. Gotta put the cogs in position first, and then hit that uh, very strange-looking lever. Just kind of looks like they put a little lever there, and there's not really anything unique about it. Kind of looks out of place. 
Well, it's better. At least you can, like, see it and stuff. I suppose. But, like, the other levers that we've been doing have, like, look like an actual lever. Like, you can pull down and there's a line below where the lever goes. This here, it just kind of looks like you're pulling the lever down into, like, other rocks. <laughs> or Either that or the line is just very thin. I'm not sure. Maybe it's magic. So as you saw there, that opened the little door, which uh, kind of cut off the water uh, to another place and uh, stopped the waterfall from uh, occurring, which means we can finally go under the waterfall and into the next part, into the level, next level. But before we do that, we have to get the last couple secrets. And this next one, um, you can get here by doing that, just kind of getting onto the ledge and just kind of moving across over there. Or you can take a running jump from the bridge and just... Jump into this part area. Nice animated textures there. I apologize that I have nothing to say. <laughs> yeah, it does get a little bit, um... Considering the slow pace of the Tomb Raider series, it does get a little bit um, difficult to come up with things to say on the fly when you're just waiting for Laura to get to the next part. Yep. Oh, here's something. Um, if you try to get to this next secret um, without having the water, you won't be able to get to the secret because you have to have the water in order to, well, first off, not get stuck there, and... Uh, in order to get to this um, little opening in the ceiling here. And here's the last one. I like the sound it makes when you find a secret. It's a nice little achievement. Telling you that you achieved something. Even though you probably never achieved anything in your life. You have that one thing. <laughs> you found the secret in Tomb Raider. Yes! Finally, I can put that on my resume. I found all the secrets in Tomb Raider. You're hired. Yes, I would like to have this job at Apple. I do believe I'm very qualified. I did find the see all the secrets in Tomb Raider. Um, I did get all of the chimes. <laughs> yeah, that was me just making sure I could jump into the pool because I was afraid oh that there wasn't going to be any water yeah. and that I would just be falling to my death. But no, the water's there. Awesome. Boom. Badass. And as you can see, this is the opening to the next level. And that'll do it for this episode of Deep Thought. We'll see you next time for more Tomb Raider fun times and Lara Croft adventures. And hopefully, she doesn't break every single bone in her body.